What's the most common problem with a mini split and how do you fix it? Leaky flare connections. You can see all that oil on these three flare connections. If you don't know how to use a flaring tool, I'm gonna to drop a link in the description to a video where I show you how to use a flaring tool. Always pressure test with nitrogen and use at least 500 PSIG of nitrogen when you pressure test. When I'm checking the charge for the mini split that has more than one indoor unit, I'm always putting all the indoor units on cooling and then putting the fan speed on either turbo or high. I'm using the SNAT tool. I'm hooked up to the computer and I'm also hooked up to the communication terminals so that I can show the data for the unit while it's running. Do you know how to work on mini splits? If you don't, I've got a video titled how to work on mini splits. It's in the link in the description. Go click on it, watch it, learn more.